Hi everyone, hope you're well and staying safe. I'm just doing a quick behind the scenes video to show you some of the things that we're working on today here in Valve and Process Solutions Workshop. Um, today I'm building some packages with Worcester F819 ball valves, high torque spring return actuators, and our Westlock Intellis network control monitor. Um, if you've not seen this product before, um, it's a variation on our uh, standard switch box or our quantum with the integrated solenoid where we have the coil inside the housing and we have the spool assembly on the outside of the housing. And what makes this one slightly different is these are going to a customer that wants to put them on an ASI or ASI network. So we've actually incorporated our ASI net pack inside there. Um, the great thing about that is it has two or Hall effect sensors inside. So we're using the touch set cams, we can still set the limit switches for open and close and that information comes back on the network. We've got some nice little LEDs on there just to show you that the card's functioning, show you when the switches are made and not made. Um, we've got the uh, field connectors in there so we can bring the field wire in and connect quite easily onto the card. And the whole thing is protected inside the, uh, the tried and trusted Westlock um, housing. Um, it's a really neat solution this for us, um, it means that the solenoid is integrated so you haven't got back wiring into the switch box from a, a standard Namur solenoid, um, it means that the network card is in there and it's protected. And this is for an ASI network but we can do Profibus, we can do device net, we can do foundation field bus and we just put the various different cards into the box depending on the protocol that you've got on your site that you want to uh, use to uh, operate the, uh, the switch boxes and the valves. So a really nice neat solution. Um, we've got the Westlock iconic beacon on top to give us the open and close indication. Um, we're using the Westlock cast bracket, so which we call the, uh, the safe mount, just so you can't get any fingers in here or anything. And then we just literally pipe down from the solenoid valve into the actuator and it's all set up and ready to go. We can also address these units for you. So on the ASI network, for instance, we could put the actual uh, device address on there and then when it turns up to site, it's already pre-addressed. We've not been asked to do that in this instance, but that is a, f a function that we can do for the customer. Um, so thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please head over to our YouTube channel where you can watch other behind the scenes videos and please follow us on LinkedIn where we're updating our content daily. And please, as always, give us a like or a share if there's something on there that you're interested in. Thanks very much for watching.